Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, good afternoon. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas week, and here we are heading into the new year. Well, we are looking at some changes, too, just as the new year begins with some much cooler air. Take a look at this graph, and we're, we are going to stay above average on temperatures the next couple of days. Pretty warm out there tomorrow and Wednesday in the 70s to near 80 degrees, but there's that big drop for New Year's Eve. Uh, Thursday, we're only in the 50s, and then we'll slowly warm up again next week. As far as rain chances, though, our best chance comes when Wednesday night. It looks like we could see a little bit out ahead of the front, but most of it's going to come late Wednesday before we dry out again as we head through the late part of the week. Right now, we've got some clouds moving through and temperatures are in the 70s, with the exception of Port Aransas at 69. It's been windy this afternoon. In fact, Corpus Christi, 23 mile an hour winds, 20 mile an hour winds at Alice and Kingsville, 21 right now. Tomorrow is going to be another windy day and we are going to start the day mild. In the morning, as you head out the door, just some short sleeves is all you're going to need. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s to start our Tuesday. The afternoon, we're back into the upper 70s. It's gonna be a windy day with those winds gusting to up to 30 miles an hour and temperatures reaching near 80 in our inland areas coast side around 73 port aransas tomorrow upper 70s from corpus christi through portland and ingleside and rockport at 75 degrees now the winds going to be noticeable the next few days uh, in fact we're looking at those wind speeds sustained winds 18 to 25 tomorrow and likewise as we go through wednesday and thursday the gusts up to 30 but the wind dies down friday and we'll see the wind shifting back around to the east northeast then. So a lot of wind the next couple of days, and it'll be a cold wind Thursday. And you can see that colder air to the north. In fact, north of uh, near Amarillo and northward, it is cooling down fast up there. In fact, feeling a lot like winter, winter weather advisories and some winter warnings uh, up in the plains and into the Great Lakes area as this next surge of cold air arrives and bringing the snow and even some rain with it. For us, we're still in the warm, humid air ahead of it, but it won't be long. That front will move in. Uh, you can see that big area of low pressure out here in the Four Corners area. That is going to move to the east and bringing the colder air down from the north and that'll arrive Wednesday night. So let's take a look at future tracker then. With the south winds we stay mostly cloudy the next couple of days. A lot of cloud cover and a stray shower is possible. Not much rain if any all the way through Wednesday morning. And you can see here I'm going to put this into motion. You can see a little bit of rain here and there but watch as that increases late Wednesday Wednesday night when the front comes in is when we'll have the best chance of showers and even isolated thunderstorms are possible as this moves through. And then behind it, you can see that wind shifts to the northwest and that west wind's going to cool it down. And the wintry mix is even possible to the north. Take a look at that area of blue and pink. They have some rain and snow mix in the forecast in uh, north of Austin and up near Waco and into uh, Midland area. That'll be, looks like Thursday during the day. So yeah, even a little wintry weather in our northern areas, but for us, it's just rain. And rain is what we need. These are the projected rain totals. Now we're looking at, notice the trend is for the numbers to be lower as you go toward Falfurius and Kingsville, about a half an inch to an inch. But as you go from Corpus Christi north and even in some of our inland areas, we have the potential of picking up an inch, possibly be an inch and a half of rain that would be nice get our lawns watered for us and our plants and hopefully slow down the drop in the reservoirs for a couple of days. Here's a look at your seven day forecast then. Uh, the temperature is staying pretty mild through Wednesday. There's the big drop Wednesday night down to 43 and notice that 37 for Thursday night. Friday morning, if you're heading out the door, it is going to be awfully chilly out there. Our inland areas could see temperatures near freezing. Drew? 